Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at um, how to move a flat file or an unstructured file that you have in the file section of your lake house to a table, to the table section in um, your lake house. So basically, it becomes a delta table because that is a format that um, the Fabric Lake House uses. So uh, let's just dive into the de uh, to the um, scenario so you can get in better understanding. So I've got my lake house opened here. Uh, I have videos, uh, if you check out my playlist on all of this stuff, getting data into the lake house, the files in the table section, how to use them, and uh, other stuff like that. And we've got a lot more fabric videos coming out. So please do subscribe if you want to stay updated with those. But anyways, coming to this demo, uh, as you can see, we have files. We have a file section and a table section in the lake house, as you probably know. And suppose what you want to do is, um, write one of these flat files the format can be anything but suppose you want to write one of these flat files into the table section so it becomes a delta table so you see this this uh, square with a triangle that means it's a delta table and the key thing about the delta tables is if you want to use uh, data in a fabric lake house uh, in a report in a power bi report you can't take data directly from the flat file so once you have uh, the this table in the flat file which you bought you can build a table on top of it and then on top of that table, you build your data set and then create your reports. So uh, in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can uh, move files from these flat file section to the lake house section. So I'm just going to go to a notebook that I've opened and created here. And as you can see, it's linked to this lake house one, which I was just showing. And in my file section, I'm just going to drag in one of the flat files that I want to uh, view so I just drag and drop you know fabrics got all this stuff um, down easily so the table has been read as you can see we've got a data frame here and now, once we have a data frame, so that's why I said it doesn't matter the file type or anything. Once you have your file in the file section, just drag it into a cell, read it to the data frame, and now this data frame is ready, and you can uh, write it to your tables. Uh, an important thing uh, that you want to remember is that uh, when you run uh, a data frame from a flat file, it usually doesn't bring the, the type with it so when you set it to the table everything's going to go in or when you move it to a delta table everything's going to move in as a string so what you might want to do once you've read the data frame you might want to convert each column's types based on the uh, requirement of the data so i might put id as an integer and yeah everything else looks fine in this situation but age things like that you might want to move as integers and true or false boolean values all that stuff you might want to modify uh, but for now, this is fine for me. And so what I'm going to do is um, I can either write the code directly or I can just do the shortcut in Fabric, which is called snippet colon write. So once I uh, hit write, so snippet is basically a shortcut which gives you access to some of the uh, most common activities in um, Fabric notebooks. So I'm going to select this option, write to Delta Lake table. All right. So once I have this option set up, it fills in some code here. So the first thing I want to do is modify this delta table path. So to set um, your delta table path, you just have to give tables slash whatever you want your table name to be. So in case, suppose in this case I want to be called student, I just do tables slash student and that should be fine. And um, uh, this is just some mock data it's given us. We don't need that, but what we can do here is we have to change the data which was uh, created in the snippet code and put our data frame in there. So now what's going to happen is we're going to write our data frame in the format of a delta table and it will be written uh, as a mode overwrite and we save it to this path over here. So we do have a mode append as well. So if you want to add data to the bottom, you have to make sure obviously that it's the same structure and things like that. Um, so uh, that could be 
one thing that you might want to experiment with mode append and another thing is uh, mode mode overwrite has another option where you can do uh, dot option and then you can do an overwrite schema is true all right and what that does is if you already have uh, data existing in a table and you want to overwrite it completely and change the columnar structure that is the data types and how many columns and things like that then you can do an overwrite schema so in this case i just run this and you can see it's done so now when i come here and hit refresh you can see i've got my delta table student created and just to confirm that everything is working As you can see, everything looks good. The order might be a bit different for now, since uh, uh, the way of the way Spark works with its partitions and things like that. But all the data would have come in, so that's not an issue which you have to worry about. Uh, so that's it for this video. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you guys in the next one.